Hey everybody, welcome to Heel Toe Automotive's YouTube channel once again. We're here today on probably the first really nice sunny day of 2024. We've got the TLX Type S and Tiger Eye, and today we're throwing on some new wheels. We got these SSR GTX 01s, 19 by 9.5 plus 38 offset, um, Bridgestone 275. 4019 size these tires are going to go on the TLX because honestly it needs new tires and um, I just don't like putting new tires on the used wheels that are already there so we grabbed these SSR wheels we got some beautiful center caps we got some uh, lug nuts to put them on nice black finished lug nuts so uh, let's get right to it before we throw some beautiful new wheels we got to wash the car so give us about a moment to get this car cleaned up and then we'll get into the swap here and how we've changed the spec and that way you can help maybe get some advice on the spec wheels that you want to get for your TLX. Don't forget that Heel Toe sells all these wheels and products that we're going to show you today. Links will be in the description. Coming right up, we're going to get this car washed and the wheels swapped out. All right, let's take a look at how this tire has worn over time. The inside wear here is pretty aggressive. We've got the cord showing, we've got uh, the steel belt here. There's still plenty of tire inside here, but clearly the alignment here was not favoring the kind of uh, ideal tire wear that you'd like to have. Now we did wear through the tire pretty flat all the way around. Um, you can see the wear bars here. We mostly did get into those, but the very outside edges didn't get very much wear here at all. Of course, there's some uh, rubber degradation here from the cornering that we've been doing, but I think that we probably need to adjust the alignment on this car. Um, a little bit of camber is gonna happen, but I feel like this car maybe never got aligned perfectly once the springs were put on anyway. I'll do another video later on talking a little bit more about this sort of tire wear and what it means and where it comes from. I'm switching from Ray's lug nuts to these Mugan ones. The Mugan ones don't actually have any branding on them, and I didn't want to have any brand competition between the wheels and the lug nuts, even though it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, I thought new wheels, new lug nuts, let's uh, go for it. We also got some beautiful center caps. These are billet aluminum. 
Um, they're pretty universal with SSR wheels. Uh, it just finishes off the wheel really nicely, and we didn't want to you know, show off this ugly hub in here. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. A lot of places in the country, you're gonna get some rusty looking stuff. I also wanna mention that hub uh, rings are gonna be on the way for this. I just didn't have any uh, for the time of production of this video, but um, we're actually doing a lot of wheel changing around today. So uh, final state, there will be hub rings there and we do have those available on heel toe as well. When you're putting these uh, caps in, I think that a real enthusiast is gonna pay attention to the orientation of the cap. And traditionally, Honda will always have the bottom facing the valve stem. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it that way, which is gonna be more or less lined up like this. These just push in with an O-ring interference fit. There you go. The cap's upside down for the video, but hey, you know what? Let's get the rest of them on and put it on the ground and show you how this total fitment came out, what it looks like. 